Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress blogger. I make WordPress and elementary tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. In this video, we'll discuss dynamic tokens. I'll explain what they are and how you can use them to customize your WordPress experience. What are dynamic tokens and how you can use them? If you watched the elementary form calculator or the pricing calculator tutorial that I made on the channel, you clearly understood that I have used short codes generated by the plugin to calculate the form amount total, right? So this is a sample form that I actually showed you in the tutorial and within here, you can click on estimated amount and within amount expression, we have used short codes. These are nothing but dynamic tokens generated by the dynamic content plugin well what exactly are dynamic tokens you can replace static values with dynamic values that come from the user or based on what the user picks there are a ton of dynamic tokens so if you're working with elementary form you can see form colon number or form colon id of the field will actually replace this with the value of that and that's how we're actually calculating the price of the form now also in the pdf generator tutorial i'll just pull up my pdf template so we've generated pdf with the data submitted by the user and we also let users download it you can also let users or you can also mail users the generated pdf well all this is done thanks to the dynamic tokens dynamic tags are already a part of elementor pro so if you go to any widget and within any field that has this dynamic tags button when you click on it you can change the content from the one that you entered in here statically to something dynamic so maybe you can change this whole text to post title when i click on post title you can see that changes to post title similarly anything with a dynamic link so this is an image widget and if i hover over this you can see that i can link it to dynamic tags basically these are pulling data from your database and then they're getting it dynamically and contextually so if i change this to my author profile picture you can see that it shows my gravatar over there so you can make any content dynamic with this and using dynamic content plugin takes it to the next level. It generates even more dynamic tokens and even better, you can use them in the form of short codes. So let's see what are the different tokens that we can use and how we can use them. But first, let's see what are the tokens involved with dynamic .00's dynamic content plugin. You can go to the documentation where they have a lot of tokens. So you can see that they have tokens for ACF. So you can get ACF fields, you can get post fields, you can get terms, you can get queries and a lot more. Let's actually use this token. I'll copy this and within here, I'll just click on this text. I'll replace class with that short code. I'll update. Let's preview that. And you can see that that data is replaced with the email, right? So that data is replaced with the email that I provided over here. So it's query user email. Similarly, you can replace it with any of the dynamic tags. So if I click on this, I can replace it with any of the dynamic tokens. So based on the type of information that you want to pull in from the data or maybe information related to ACF, you can also pull in ACF fields over here. Let's try pulling in date and time. So this is another dynamic tag. I'll just put it here. Now you can paste the short code. That's one way to uh, use these dynamic tokens provided by dynamic content plugin or even better so when the dynamic option appears you can click on that scroll down till you see this dynamic content label and you can click on the token click on the token again and here you can paste the short code of the token that you want to use so i just want to use date plus one month you can do some cool stuff so you can say date plus three months so it'll add three months to the current date and it will show you that let's add three years you can see that so it adds three years to the current date and displays that in here really handy right so if you want to display a date when the timer or a countdown timer is going to expire 
you can use this dynamic token. There are a ton of tokens. You can either remember them and they also have this neat little formula saying how you should use the dynamic token. Well, this is all great, but it may scare you to look at all the different kinds of tokens and remember them. But turns out it, you don't even have to remember any of these. You can simply again click on the dynamic option, scroll down, click on the token. But this time instead of entering the short code itself, there is something called wizard mode. Just click on that and it lets you pick the items or the options that you want and based on what you pick, it will generate the short code for that particular token. So let's say I want to pull in maybe post title. So I just selected the post object from there. I selected the post object and under field, I want to pull in the title. So I'll type post title. I'll click on title. And just like that, it take it gets the post title and displays it. I don't have to remember the short code. But if I really want that short code, well, it's quite easy to do that. All you have to do, I'll just rescale this up a bit. So you just need to click on the show code button and that will give you the short code. You can then copy this and use it anywhere you want to use this particular token. Or if you just want to display the token, you can turn this off and it will display the data itself. So you can use the wizard mode to get tokens without even remembering the short codes. So it generates the short codes. And if you want to see the code, just click on show code and there's the short code. So the short code to display post title is this. Let's try another one. Now I'll select the token again, wizard mode on because I don't want to remember the short code. Now I'll pick author from here. So I'll search for author. I'll just click here and it gives me the author of the post. I don't have to remember them. Again, if I want the token to get that, we just need to click on show code button and that's the token I need to use it to display it wherever I can enter text. So I can then take this particular short code. I'll just remove this. I'll click on the button. Let's do something fun here. So instead of read more, I'll say post by and I'll replace that with the short code that I just copied. Now sometimes it doesn't work. Well, what can you do for that? You can simply click here, select the token itself and the token is, so I'll just click on author. Now it gives me the post author. You can also click on advanced and you can have fallbacks for this or maybe enter text before that. So I'll say post by here. I'll click on settings again. Now the token is this which is post. Now the preview refreshes and you can see that that data is dynamically generated. So instead of the static button, we got post by added using the advanced options and then it pulls in the data from the database. So whoever posts this, his name will be displayed here. So that's really neat. Sometimes, you know, the short codes may not always work, but the tokens will already always work. And there are a lot of other tokens for us to try out. Let's actually try out a user token. So I'll hover over this heading text, click on dynamic tags, choose token. And this time I'll put in a user token. You can get the tokens either from the documentation or you can generate one using the wizard mode. I'll use this token for now, which is user first name. So if I paste that over here in the shortcode token, you can see it prints my first name over there. So that's really neat. You can also do the same if you want the last name. So that's last name. You can also get email by simply changing this to email. So something like that. So you can get all the data that you really need just by using this dynamic token option. Let's use wizard mode and there are many things from here. Also, you can narrow down the source of the data by post. So you can select current post. You can get data from any other post and a lot more. You can also pull in ACF information, which we'll discuss later because we didn't still discuss ACF on the channel. You can also get some WP queries, number of terms. So let's actually pick term here to get the post ID. Every post in WordPress is associated with an ID. Click on that and it shows the ID of the post. You can then use this to maybe exclude this post from a list of posts and do a lot more. So there's a lot of possibility here and 
this is all great and really powerful and you can pull in a lot of data from here but you might be wondering how do you really use it well this is how you use it in real life scenarios so i've made videos on how to generate pdf using the dynamic content plugin right so based on the data that the user fills in we are generating a pdf and because the pdf is generated within the form even the form has a lot of tokens that you can use so form colon pdf actually gives the pdf itself so if you really want to mail him the generated pdf this is how you do it so click on actions after submit you can watch pdf generator tutorial i showed you how to do that it's fairly simple so once you click on pdf click on here and let's click email so, so you can simply email him the PDF by using the token generated. So this will insert the PDF into the mail and it will send it to him. If the PDF is too big, maybe the mail may not be sent or sometimes it's the problem with your delivery service. We'll discuss fixing form email later in another video. You can see there are a ton of tokens related to the generated PDF. So you can get this and in the tutorial, we have and we're mapping it to another template or a message we're displaying him a custom message and even this is generated thanks to dynamic tokens so if i go to that particular template which is pdf save button so it's invoice button pdf so this template is actually getting the pdf file token or the dynamic token of the generated pdf and it's allowing users to download that particular PDF. So the link to the button that we gave here is again a dynamic token as you can see here. It's form colon PDF colon URL. Basically it will take the link to the existing PDF and it will put it there and we added a download attribute. So when the user clicks on this button he can download the PDF. So watch what happens when you click on this. So it downloaded my generated PDF. So we are using the dynamic tokens even here also in the form amount field tutorial we calculated the amount based on these dynamic tokens right so if you go to the form amount tutorial there is an amount field here so the pricing calculator tutorial so based on how many pages he picks we are calculating an amount multiplying it with the formula that we have so in the expression, we are essentially using dynamic tokens of the form. Form colon ID is the token to get each and every field. You can see we are getting all the fields and applying our custom formula to the field. And that's how we're displaying the estimated total amount of the form. So we're using dynamic tokens in a lot of ways. And you can pull in data. Maybe you can build custom dashboard using different kinds of data. There's a ton of possibility, but you can explore them and now you understood how to use them. So dynamic content plugin lets you generate contextual data. You can use the wizard mode to pick any data. You can pull any information from WordPress database or contextual information from even your plugins. And the tokens are used to generate PDF to get the generated PDF to get its URL and link it so that he can download it. And also there's another action in the dynamic content plugin called message so this message even we selected a template for this we can customize this message instead of this i can say hey and now i'll use another token related to this form so i'll use the name field as a token thank you for contacting us we'll email you the pdf2 and again i'll use his email now these are also dynamic tokens this pulls the name of the person and this is replaced with the email that he fills in let's try that i'll update this let's try filling the form once i'll put some dummy data and i'll just leave it as is i'll click on send and watch what happens now so once the form is generated it now tells a custom message saying hey karthik because this is replaced with the dynamic token generated by the form Thank you for contacting us and we are saying we will email the PDF to the address that I just filled. So there are ton of examples in which you can use the dynamic token but these are some of the most practical ones. 
we'll be discussing more about acf integration and dynamic tokens in other videos but i hope you got what dynamic token can do it can pull in a lot of wordpress related information there are ton of tokens you can also pull in data such as yoast data maybe if you have yoast plugin you can also pull in data from your third party plugins and then display it inside your elementor templates this is really powerful you can format the date you can get the number of users you can get the number of posts and there's just a lot more that to discuss in this simple video but hopefully understood i hope you understood uh, how dynamic tokens can be used and how they can be used for customization and for extending the functionality of elementor plugin and how you can do some advanced wordpress stuff just by using a click of a button if you don't have the dynamic content plugin you can get that from the link in the description that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it i'll talk to you in the next one peace